Hey, well, thank you kindly for clicking on this episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. I don't have a, a before for this one. I didn't think I'd be uh, doing it because I've done a couple of these before. Um, now, I remember the last one that I did, um, I had it for, for about a week or so, and uh, a lot of people that saw it said, Oh, my grandpa's got one of those, or my grandma had one of those, or, Well, my Uncle Bob up in uh, San Francisco had one of those, or, or, um, uh, Arizona my my aunt had one of those um, they got around <laughs> they're kind of a neat little setup you've got your um, your knife on this side and you have your whoops, fork on this side so I just shined it up and cleaned it all up and that was what I did to the last one and matter of fact, the same lady that had the other one uh, brought this one to me. And um, what had happened to this one were the handles both fell off. I mean, you pull and yank on these things and that's what happens. Uh, they're just shoved in there. Now, I could have done it properly and put another piece of wood in there, drilled a little bit of a hole and then tried to, you know, force everything down in there. But then again, here you know, years now, years from now, it's going to start getting loose and pull right back off again. So I epoxied them. That's uh, exactly what I did. I just uh, epoxied the, uh, turned them upside down like this, and poured some epoxy in there and put it all down in there. And uh, the knife, the nice, you know, the material's not all the greatest, and it won't hold up. But it does cut what it needs to cut. And that is what makes the world go around here, Blade Runner Tool Sharp before and after. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, give us a like and share our Facebook page. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now our Odyssey.com channel, Blade Runner, since 1983. And remember, with Blade Runner, there's never a dull moment.